long time are you planning on staying in Ico? <laughs> <laughs> for for that one, I don't know. Uh, that's not an answer you can say because it's football and you never know. So I'll just say I'm happy. I'm happy here. Yeah. And how about you, Henry? Yeah, also me. I'm happy. But in football, you always work hard to play on high levels. Do you guys think like I call is where you can stay and uh, spread your wings high, or do you think you can be able to go and fly somewhere else, fly higher somewhere else? Yeah, I think so because. Ico gives you the air. They give you the avenue to showcase yourself. They treat you better so that you can move to the next level to improve your qualities, you know? So if you are in Ico, actually you are you are like a good material they are preparing for something better. Do you guys agree with that? Yeah. Hmm? Ico is a good thing. They give you the platform. Eric, are you married? Do you have kids? <laughs> that is confidential. That is confidential. <laughs> okay. How about you guys? I'm not married. I don't have a kid. And Henry? No, I'm not married. I have a girlfriend. Wow. Yes, Henry wow. has a girlfriend. He wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. wow. This is the engagement. When are we going to get married? If you guys were today not football players, mm. what do you think you would be? <laughs> I think I'll be the guy. You know, the guy at the airport who changes bags. Be an entrepreneur. I expand business. Uh -huh. I expand. But you, have, you still have a chance to be an entrepreneur now, even though you are a football player. As for me, it's also entrepreneur to do business. Uh huh. And uh -huh. is Marcelo your name? The people just gave me the name. Oh, it's a nickname. No, it's quite rampant in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Niger can be called Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Colin yeah. <laughs> can be called CJ. No. <laughs> CJ. Yes. Colo. 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 Colo yeah. the master. Colo. Eric, how can you run so fast with the ball? Um, it is in the genes and you know, we Kenyans, we are born like that. So, as you can see, Kenyans is well known for for running mm. and you can see they have many goals and they have many legends in athletics. So, mm. so we are just like that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Henry, do you think it's normal to run uh, with the ball? For me, I can say it's normal for us, in, for Kenyans, but... The Eric speed is, is worse. And what is it that you guys like most about playing football? Of course, it's when you win a game. Yeah. The feeling is good. Mm -hmm. feel like the enjoyment. So. And also when you play good. So <laughs> something that gives you the energy. You feel like you're happy and everything. Mm -hmm. How about you, Henry? Yeah, after winning and also ask for the strikers when you score. Like football is like a culture to meet new people and you have to you know many people and through football you know you can get many connections what i like about football is that it's something that most people like you know mm. it's a well-known game it makes you get recognized maybe in the society and anywhere so i think with football you can achieve a lot mm. in life <music>God. For me, I'll say it's hard work, then God, and also the mentality and the sacrifice. We have sacrificed a lot and worked hard to be here where I am. Who is Henry outside football? How is your day-to-day -day life like? 
they are the same. It's the same. Thing. Yeah, I'm just Henry, you know. You're just Henry. Yeah. Okay, and you, Collins? No, actually, uh, no? on the pitch, I'm I'm an aggressive guy. I come to you, Ouma. Yeah, Ouma is <laughs> is going and then coming in. <laughs> And he's freezing. Are you freezing? Yeah. Eric, yeah. what do you like to do when you're not playing? Maybe I like to chill. Sometimes maybe do some other stuff. And uh, watch the TV. Chill with the, the young boys. Uh, the big boys. Because <laughs> <laughs> life on the field is a different one. Because on the field you are a hustler. How about you, Collins? What do you do when you are not playing? I'm in the house. Maybe I'm chilling with my girlfriend, getting positive energy, talking about important things, <laughs> listening to music. So it's not all about football every time. Sometimes I call family back at home, you know how they are doing. So And also think about investment because we are young and the early the better you do so what do you do when you're not playing football uh when i'm not playing football like now i was chilling with eric and collins uh, and when i'm alone i just call my family back at home sometimes we video call so. how was it to change your coach in the middle of the season and has this affected the team's performance no, I think it's something that it, it normal. it is normal and it happens to any other team. Sometimes things are not going well in your place of work. Maybe also change is needed and, and the change is ine inevitable. What do you guys think? Now I'm going to ask these guys about Kenyan football. What do you guys think about the Kenyan national football team, Harambe Stars? And their failure to qualify for the Africa Cup of Nations and also the World Cup. Mm. What do we think? Yeah. You guys, you are playing Kenya, you know. It's part of football. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But also it depends with the preparations. Maybe sometimes the preparation are not good enough. Because when you go to the national team, today you are with Collins. Tomorrow you come, you will not see Collins. You will mm. see another person, you know. Mm. Because sometimes the chemistry you know, is not the same. It's something that Maybe if they keep the same squad, they keep the same, the same things they are doing, maybe it will be, it will be something good. It will, it will be something Yeah, it will make a difference mm -hmm. because, because we will be getting used to each other. Mm -hmm. and when you get used to each other, you become unstoppable because if you look at the other national teams, they always have the same players. What do you think about the Kenya Football Federation and how it is managed? Actually, I wouldn't say much because for me, for me is to play and I'm not a guy who is into politics a lot, so <laughs> failure has a lot of factors, you know, <laughs> and, uh, and failures doesn't begin with one person with pointing fingers and mm. so failures begin, it can also begin with you, not, not only the federation, everyone else, you don't need to point fingers because we have to work to make our football great. If you guys had one chance, mm to change something about the Kenyan football. Is there something you think you could do if you are given a chance to change something about the football in Kenya? No, it's just to have the facilities because mm -hmm. you will begin with down first. It's like a building house. When the foundation is good, then the house will be strong. So you have to begin from the ground. And uh, because there are many talents from the ground, they mm -hmm. like it's only the facilities. They don't have things, they don't have shoes. And, even they don't have places to train and to do everything. Because if you see in Europe, they have all those things, you know. Five minutes from here, you can see uh, maybe a field is just there, mm. hanging, nobody's playing, you know. Mm. Those are the things that we need to have back at home as a country. Because yeah. 100% football pays, and football has a lot of money. Football is like, is like an investment. Mm. It's like a career. That's why people should take it seriously. Yeah, in Kenya we have so many, much, many players who, who are good in football. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they lack the, the peaks and also the facilities for the training. For me I would say it's the facilities. 
uh, because most of the things that are here in Kenya we don't have and also the training grounds in Kenya the pitches there are few pitches wood so mm. I would say it's all about the facilities uh, because if you have good facilities definitely kids will grow playing good football in a good surface and that will improve their quality thank you so much guys so this is the end of this interview with eric thank you so much eric thank you so much collins thank you so much henry i appreciate so much you're welcome and i hope that you have learned something take the exit on the right then turn right We are now heading out to the mall. We want to go to the shopping mall. Okay, it has been a good day and we thank V Channel for visiting us. So I urge you guys to subscribe to V Channel. Everything was good and perfectly nice. So guys subscribe to V Nyaga YouTube channel. It was good. We had an amazing day today. We bought some stuff, clothes, shoes, so please subscribe to his channel and watch the videos. I hope it will inspire some of you. So guys, this is now the end of today's vlog. Thank you so much for being with me. It was amazing spending the day with these amazing young Kenyans. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.